Hi, I'm Paul Seal from Codeshare.co.uk and today I've got a couple of tips for you um, and that is you might not need jQuery. Now this is a fairly old site I believe so this is nothing new for some of you but for others you might not have heard of this. So basically it's a site called you might not need jQuery.com and it just shows you that a lot of the time we use jQuery unnecessarily. If you're using it just so you can get an element by using its class or something like that, then you might not need to use jQuery. This website shows you a lot of scenarios where you could have just written a few extra lines of JavaScript or even the same amount of lines of JavaScript and you can do the same thing just using vanilla JavaScript. So just to show you some examples. So in um, most of these examples, it requires IE9 and above or this one's IE8 and above, so it supports even further back. I mean, most of the time nowadays we should be targeting the more modern browsers anyway. I don't think there'll be many people that are still on IE8 or below. So um, these are the sorts of things. So you can do a for getting JSON, for doing a post, a request, and then some of the more common effects like the fade in. Um, in jQuery it's fade in, but you could just use these lines and then you don't have a dependency on uh, jQuery. Hide, that's really simple there. Show, again very simple. Look at this for adding a class. I mean, yeah, a lot of the time we just use jQuery anyway, but you don't have to. Um, one of the reasons why it would be a good idea not to use jQuery is if you were creating your own package or library that you were going to publish, it's, it's a good idea not to rely on others if you can. So don't take a dependency on another package. The uh, big example of that, where that can go wrong, is this um, package in, in NPM. And the package, I think it was called pad left. Uh, what was it called? Yeah, left pad. Basically, this bit of code is just... 11 lines of code and it did something. It just left padded uh, the text so you can, I assume you can put whatever character you want for how long, etc. I mean, I've written that myself in other languages before, but people were using this as a dependency in the code they were producing for their packages. This guy, uh, he, he was in some sort of legal battle about one of his packages and when that had to be either removed or renamed, he decided to just Take, a, take all of his packages out of NPM and the amount of packages that were relying on that one, which brought loads of sites down. Uh, so it just shows you that if you can, don't rely on other packages. Let's just go back to this as well. This you might not need jQuery. Append child, when you're looking for before, um, children, clone, etc. So there's so many scenarios where you might just automatically go to jQuery when really it's not that hard to do it in JavaScript. So if, you, if you're doing that and you've took a dependency on jQuery, I mean, it, these days the internet's um, fast for everyone, but even on mobile, people it, you're giving people um, more kilobytes to download if you're taking a dependency on jQuery when you might only need a few things out of it. So just it's one of those just to remember and think about and maybe just reference when it comes to writing your JavaScript. Um, do I really need to use uh, jQuery? So along that note as well, there is you might not need JavaScript. Now this is when it, we're talking about um, styles and transitions and things like that. So nowadays, again, with modern browsers, you can actually do a lot with CSS. So you might not actually need JavaScript to do some of these animations. So here is an example of a slider. And um, it's just got this HTML and this CSS. And that's creating the slider for you. So before you might have been using JavaScript to do that. Well, here this shows you you can just do that with... Um, with the transforms that you get with CSS. I think this is CSS3. Um, here we've got click to open and then close. So this is a modal window. So, you know, pop up on a website. Now you can, you don't have to use JavaScript to get it to open and close. 
uh, view stitcher, keyboard navigation. So let's have a look. Rerun that. I'm not sure what this one does, but there's all sorts of examples on here. So have a look. Remember these sites. Have a look at the examples and just think, do I actually need, first of all, jQuery? And then do I need JavaScript? These sorts of things. So that's it for, the, for today. I just wanted to give you those couple of tips if you haven't heard of them already. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click on like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, feel free to write a comment and share with others as well. All right, thanks for watching.